This is Julie Hall. Welcome to the Excel to Word document automation add-in. Our add-in makes it easy to update content in Word and PowerPoint documents based on analysis, data, and charts in Excel workbooks. In this video, I'll show you how to map or link content between Excel and Word so the content can be easily updated. There are three types of content that can be updated. Text within Word can be updated from or linked to a single cell within Excel. The Word text can be just about anywhere in a title, paragraph, or just a number in a paragraph. Word tables can be sourced from cell ranges, which are named ranges in Excel. In Word, text and table items can be formatted any way you want. The updating only replaces the text. It does not modify your formatting. The third type of content is charts. Excel charts appear, appear as images in Word documents, so you can make the charts appear any way you want in Excel. I'll demonstrate how to link or map content between an Excel workbook like this ROI calculator and this Word proposal template, so that when you make changes to Excel inputs, you can easily update the dynamic content in Word. So for example, if I change the customer name to, let's say, customer XYZ, the user licenses to say 10,000 years to 10, and the appearance of the chart to look like that, I'm then going to submit the content so it's available to Word. And then I'm gonna go over to Word and update the content. And you can see that all of the dynamic content, the text, table, and chart update to match the data in Excel. Now I'll show you how to create your links in Excel. The first thing you'll need to do is open up the add-in. I already have it in the application, so I'll simply click on the icon and it'll open up in the side panel. The next step is to create a text link in Excel. So I'll go to the add-in and I'll go over to list and the text link I'm going to create is for my customer here so I'm going to click on my customer and then I can go down to ranges because I'm going to name this range and I'm going to name it it already has a prefix there of r underscore and then I'm just going to add my customer and then I'll name the range and then I can see up here that that name has been added now I'm going to link a table Still on the list tab of the add-in, I'm going to go down to tables and the add-in will find any tables that are on my worksheet. So I will look at list tables on worksheet. It has found two tables. And the table that I want to link right now is this table, which I had earlier called source table. But in order to link it, I'm going to need to add r underscore and then update. And now my table will be linked. In order to create a link for your chart, you'll again stay on the list tab and then we'll come down and look at charts and the add-in will find any charts that are on your worksheet and the chart I want to use is this chart right here. So what I'll do is just add an R underscore to the chart name and then update it and then my chart is linked. I'll check to see if I have all of my links that I want to use from Excel. So again on the list tab, I'll go to list linkable content. And I can see that I have my table, my cell, and my chart listed. The next step is to submit those links from Excel to Word. So I'll go to the submit tab and choose submit content. And here I can be confirmed that I have submitted three items a cell, a table, and a chart. Next, I'll open up my Word document, and I wanna make sure the add-in is open, so if it isn't, I go ahead and click it for it to open, and then I'll go to the link page, and I want to get the Excel data to come over, so I do that, and it's been successful. It's brought over one text item, one table, and one chart, and I can also look here in my content and see that these things have been added. First, I'm going to create my text link. So on the link tab of the add-in, I want to choose text for the type and 
the link I created was called R My Customer. So I'm going to make sure that this piece is going to be replaced. So I'm going to insert a content control over it and I can go back and look and see that there is a content control there. Now I'll create a link for the table. Back in the add-in I'm going to switch the type to table and then my name appears here, the R source table. I will go ahead and choose the table and insert the content control. Order to link my chart, I'm going to go back over to the add-in and switch to chart. And then I have my cursor where I want the chart to appear, so I go ahead and insert the content. Now I'm going to double check to make sure all of my content controls have been linked. So I can look at this table and I can see that yes, I do have my three different sources and they do match in Excel. Now I'll make some changes in Excel so we can see how they change over in Word. I'm going to change my text cell to new customer and then I'll make a change on the table. I'm going to change this to 500 and that'll also put a change on my chart to 500 as well. Then I come back over to the add-in and I click on submit content and that has been successful and it submitted one table, one chart, and one cell. Back in Word, we'll submit the information from Excel to be updated. So I'm going to go to the Update tab of the add-in and I'll update the document. Now it says that three content controls have been updated. Let's take a look and see. We can see that new customer was added and in my table, the 500 was updated as well as in the chart. We hope this video has made it easier for you to link Excel to Word by using our Excel to Word document automation add-in. Thank you and have a great day.